Recently, Margarita, that mans the Solar Quotes help desk, got a number of emails asking about an ABC article about batteries that was online recently. The gist of the ABC article was there was big power outages in Dandenongs in Victoria recently, multi-day power outages. So an ABC journalist went to see three different households. Two of them had traditional lead acid grid connected battery systems. One of them had, as it was described, a fancy Tesla Powerwall 2. And what the journalists discovered was that the people with the lead acid batteries seemed to sail through the outages no problem, whereas the old couple with the Powerwall 2 couldn't rely on the Powerwall 2. The battery died allegedly and they had to get out a generator and burn diesel. So lots of questions coming in saying, hey, is it true that Powerwall 2s are no good in an outage and we should go back to lead acids? No, it's not. This wasn't a great article, in my opinion, because it didn't go into the details of exactly what happened and it wasn't clear. Here's my best guess as to what happens. When the article said the Powerwall 2 started to die, I'm pretty sure that's because it hit its power limit. The Powerwall 2 can do a continuous five kilowatts of power, but this couple had underfloor heating. Now, underfloor heating is the worst load to have on a battery because it pulls a crap load of power for a long time, so it pulls a crap load of energy. So my best guess is they switched the underfloor heating on and the battery said, whoa, that's too much power, more than five kilowatts for way too long, I'm shutting down gracefully, which is what it should do. Now, why did that happen? I can only assume that the installer that put the battery in didn't educate the homeowners on how the battery worked and also backed up the whole house, which is another problem. The advice we always give is if you're backing up your house with an on-grid battery system, don't back up the whole house. Get essential circuits. Decide what circuits you can't live without in a blackout. So don't make the mistake that this couple made. To be fair, Tesla do market the Powerwall as whole house backup. That's irresponsible in my opinion. But if you use a good installer, he or she will counsel you you don't want whole house backup unless you live in a tiny little cabin and use bugger all power and energy. So use a good installer, think about what appliances you want to use when the zombies come and you'll be fine. You don't have to rely on old school lead acid batteries. It all comes down to education and good installers.